crazy year that has been 2020 but we thought we'd bring them back this year we have our aprons on rich has an apron now thanks to uh, miss emma yes yeah. oh, see, see. um today we're going to try something a little bit adventurous i have never made a biscuit in my life also just a disclaimer for anyone that hasn't seen these videos before we are not trying to teach anyone how to bake we are terrible bakers it's more about just us having fun trying to bake something it'll probably go wrong but hopefully it will taste good yep yeah. So what are we making today? We are making bourbon biscuits. A bourbon biscuit. Oh my god, are these an English thing? Probably not. Uh, don't know. I don't know. I was just talking to friends in Australia and they weren't 100% sure if they sold... Oh my god, I've just made such They're a They're like Tim Tams in, in Australia. This is what a bourbon biscuit packet looks like. And this... Let me come closer. This is a bourbon biscuit. Biscuit, chocolate cream on the inside. Oh my god, it's just delicious. I would say these are up there for one of my favourite biscuits. They're not something we often buy at home for ourselves, but they're the sort of biscuit you'd see them in a waiting room and just be like, yes, don't they? Well, I, would, I don't really eat them in the waiting room. You don't know who else has been near them. No, like pre-corona, you would eat your biscuit in the waiting no, room. No, I wouldn't. Anyway, you dug into a cup of tea. Oh my God, I have a cup of tea here. It's so exciting. Ugh. It's like mm. 10 o'clock in the morning. Mm. So good. Although I don't eat them like this. I would like break it in half scrape off the chocolate cream with my teeth. Well, like Oreos. Yeah, but I don't really like Oreos. Too sweet. Mm. At the end, we will do a taste test and compare looks wise and taste, oh, I've got hair on my face, how similar they are to the real deal. If, if we even get to that point, we might have a biscuit that doesn't survive the oven. Right, let's start. We need to beat together some butter and some powdered sugar, which I'm really hoping is icing sugar because that's all we have. So how do you do this? So it's half a cup. Yeah, I feel like in America they use cups as measurements, whereas here we use like grams and ounces. So yeah, we're gonna, cups. sorry, we're gonna do cups. Cut it up into little pieces and fill the cup. Also, apologies that this isn't more like professional. I wish I had like another camera showing close-ups, but we just have this camera and we have no one here to film. So I'll try and show you close-ups of the important bit. I'll list the recipe down below, but half a cup of unsalted butter. I would say a little bit more rich. There's a lot of butter. And three quarters of a cup of powdered sugar. I find cups much more fiddly, like when you're just doing grams or something, you just pour it into a bowl. That's what I was like, let's just... Well, let's just go with the recipe. Three quarters of icing sugar, and now I'm going to mix these together. The next lot of dry ingredients we need to like sieve into here. Into there? Right, I'm going to put together the butter and the icing sugar. Because I'm not using a hand electric whisk. Um, I think I just need to go a little bit longer with the KitchenAid to get it right. Smush it all together. It doesn't feel like a lot. Do you know what? Even if we end up making like two biscuits, I'm happy with that. The thing with baking is I'm always nervous. Luckily this recipe has no eggs in it, which is good for anyone who doesn't eat eggs. But I'm always worried it's going to like curdle or do something wrong, like the consistency. You know when you like watch Bake Off and then like everything goes wrong? One and a quarter teaspoon. All right, so all the dry ingredients, so that's flour, baking powder, cocoa powder, and a pinch of salt, all of those are gonna get sieved to this bowl with the butter and the icing sugar. So just mix all the dry ingredients together. I sieve you, you can just like sip it like that. Why do we sieve it? Because it makes it, gets rid of all the lumpy, bumpy bits. But then there's nothing left in here apart from. It makes it more of like a fine powder. Now add a teaspoon of vanilla essence. Okay. Just gonna mix this together like a little bit with a spoon. I feel like that first bit of wet ingredients, we have way less than she has. She kind of uses her hands. Oh my God, look at the sun. Our kitchen is so annoying to light. Sorry guys. She uses her hands just to like bring it together a little bit. And then you add milk. Do you want to add some milk now? Yeah, but I just think this is way too powdery. You have to get this, right in there. This is a really annoying bowl to be using. Should we swap? And then she starts gradually adding three tablespoons of milk. So add one tablespoon. It should turn to a bit of a dough. But I just have a feeling that we didn't have enough like butter. Maybe it's because we did it, you know how we didn't fill the cup. I 
do you fill a cup with a solid? All right, we made some more of the butter and icing sugar because I'm just convinced we didn't have enough to begin with. So I'm gonna add this in and mix it together. And then we can see if we can get a better texture. Okay, Rich has much better dough skills than I do because he makes bread a lot. So I just asked him to take over and you kind of just have to keep bringing it together until it's like into a ball shape. So there you go, I didn't have that action. Also, I was just like not tall enough for this bowl. So we added more of that butter, ignore us, like I just, the cups threw me. Um, added a bit of milk until it's kind of wet enough. Look at and that. Now, make it more of like, a bit more of like a smooth ball. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, that looks good, let me see, let me see. That is what we were aiming for. Basically, now we're laying down some baking paper, putting the dough on that, and then putting more baking paper on top. And then this is how we roll it out to make the biscuits. Although I'm scared. Right, yeah. Oh my God, why do they make everything look easy on video? Also, she was oh. using something called butter paper. I don't know if that makes a difference. So she said make it all the same thickness. Turn around. How thick are we meant to go? It has to be the same all the way around. So no, you don't want one bit thinner than the other. Okay. Looks good. I don't know if it's even, but let's go with it. I mean, look at this. <laughs> How's that? No, it needs to be l lower. Wait one minute, let me step back. <laughs> okay, now that Rich has rolled out the dough very well, we have to cut it into rectangles. So I'm gonna make a massive square to cut off the kind of uneven edges, and then I need to cut rectangles to the same size as the ball one. So let's, I'm just gonna go with it. Oh my God, this is actually really satisfying. Okay, and then you can make more with this leftover dough from the outside. Oh, that is not even. <laughs> so I'm gonna use one as like a bit of a template. That steady hand. All right, I'm just cutting out all of the biscuit shapes. I would have preferred a slightly sharper knife, I have to say, but all right. I wonder if this one is the right. Yes. Oh. Okay, now we're gonna use this skewer to do the very kind of, you know, trademark holes on the bourbon. There's five. So 10 holes. Other way around, other way around. So five on each side. One. Yeah. Like how deep? That's all right. Two, three, four, five. One, two, oh, we'll be here forever. three, four, five. Ooh, not that happy with that. Okay, Richards go. <laughs> oh, it's like a little. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, the holes have all been made and now we have to carefully place them on the baking tray which has been lined with foil and then baking paper. And those are gonna go in the oven for 15 minutes on 180 degrees. Okay, she says to leave a little bit of space because they do expand a bit. Not that much space. Oh my God, it feels really like delicate. It's basically just butter. <laughs> That's why it tastes so good. Okay, ready? I might turn our oven down a bit because it's quite a hot oven. Okay, now we need to make the filling, which looks really fun because you just like put it on and then you press the biscuits together. So it's a quarter cup of butter, you then beat it together and then add one cup of icing sugar. And it's quite a thick consistency, I think. And then a teaspoon of milk, two tablespoons of cocoa powder. Butter. Butter, thank you. Again, I hope this is enough. Maybe add a little bit more. Let's add, let's add a bit more for luck. Ugh. And then a cup of icing sugar. It's literally like a whole bar of butter. Yeah, it's so gross. Ugh. I'm not eating these. It doesn't say to sieve it in, but I think you should. We're just gonna add the icing sugar like little bit by little bit. I can't wait to see if this is gonna be anything like a real thing. I, I think this is, I feel like we're really in it, like concentrating. <laughs> 
Okay, so have a look inside. And you'll see how it looks like when it comes together. I'm just gonna mix it all together. She said in the video that it should be thicker than a normal buttercream, which I think it is looking good. But you can add a teaspoon of milk just to we do that? loosen it a bit. So yeah, it looks a little bit like poo basically it's just like a thick icing because we're gonna put it in the middle of the biscuits and squish them together okay they've just come out of the oven so they have expanded i kind of wish we made them a bit smaller because i think they're going to be much thicker than the original biscuits but i'm just going to let them cool for a little bit as a perfectionist it's annoying me a bit that some of them aren't even and that they're too big like if i was going to make them again i would definitely make them smaller and try and make them more perfect size like how how do they get them? I suppose they have machines, they're not like hand cut. But look, look at the difference. Oh, so close. Okay, I have no patience. So they're almost, they're still a bit warm, but they're hard. So I'm gonna put a little bit of this icing. I'm just gonna like smush it with my fingers. Don't worry, my hands are clean. <laughs> she definitely didn't do that on the video. <laughs> no, but I know that mine's harder than hers was. And then take that and... <gasps> Oh, I thought you were going to break it. <laughs> There's my bourbon biscuit. Oh my god, that is so funny. It's giant. <laughs> Let's compare. Here's the original bourbon with the, you know, stuff in the middle. And that's mine. <laughs> Do you want to try it? Like, should I make them all and then we can try them? There you go. They're not too bad. You know what, I, for our first ever attempt and bake since... No, I've ago. never made a biscuit. Never made biscuits. They're yeah, not okay. too bad. They're completely different colour and shape and everything like that. Okay, time for the final taste test. I think we should take a bite of the original. Okay. Dry and crunchy. Yeah. Good old bourbon biscuit. Which one do you want to do? Well, I can't even eat this much chocolate. Yeah, let's do that one. Do we need to like cleanse our palate? No. Use some water. Okay, go. I'm nervous. <laughs> it's so big, it looks so huge. It's got the dryness. Mmm. That's very similar. Mm. I actually prefer ours. Mmm. Ours is a bit more like a brownie, but it's got a good crunch, it's crumbly. Mm. The filling is spot on. I didn't get any filling. Oh, I have some more with the filling. Oh my god. I might drop one of these around to my sister's house to see what she thinks. I think we did so well! Oh my god, yay! We Definitely actually not. made bourbon biscuits. Wait, I don't even want Mmm, <laughs> it's really good. Yes! So there you have it. Bourbon biscuits, homemade. A little bit stressful with the sun. Extra cream. A little bit stressful with butter. the butter. But, but I think we did it in the end. I think it was a good one. Would you bake these again? Well, no, because there's so much rubbish in them. I'd rather just buy them and not know what's going into it. Oh yeah, yeah. so much butter. <laughs> But that was fun. Thank you for watching. Let us know what you want us to bake next time. There were a lot of requests for a pavlova. My mum makes Ooh. a very good pavlova, so I'll get a recipe from her. But yeah, other than that, we'll see you in the next one. Bye.